It's a problem most would assume is a good one to have. Demand so high that you're running out of product. However, that's everything but the case for turf grass producers here in Georgia, like NG Turf, who have been working nonstop growing and cutting sod for the landscaping industry that's experiencing demand they haven't seen in decades. The last couple of years have been surprising when, uh, you know, go back to when COVID first started here and things, we had some concerns. And I think everybody realizes now a lot of people stayed at home. A lot of people started uh, doing projects at home, and that really helped the sod industry. We were able to continue through that process, and it's really been two consistent years of year-round uh, demand for turf. Uh, the last two winters have been extremely busy, uh, which I think has put a um, sort of a crunch on the spring inventory levels when, when everything sort of picks up. So the last two years have really been unique. We are seeing that again this year with consistent demand uh, and really low inventories across the industry. That's certainly the case according to the University of Georgia's annual survey report, which not only confirms low inventory levels amongst Georgia producers, but also shows an increase in price. We saw about a 20% increase in prices, which with the way the demand has been since the onset of COVID really wasn't too much of a surprise. Um, but the big jump this year was well, what we really saw, what I thought was rather alarming, was the reduction in inventory. Uh, we just coming into the first five, six months of the year, Bermuda grass inventory was going to be lower than I've seen in 20 years, and um, the zoysia grass inventory was, was quite alarming. So that, that was kind of concerning is that we were low levels, and then knowing that we weren't recovering anything early on in the season, it'd be somewhere June, July, or August before we really start seeing some of those fields come into production again. Walt says the reason this has become such an issue is due to the turf grass industry operating year-round, as sod can be laid any day of the year, but can only be grown during certain months. They're harvesting out here every month of the, of the year and uh, shipping it off to golf courses, sports fields, home lawns, what have you. So you've got to have something other available all the time. And that's where it's a little bit different in, in our commodity versus some of the others. So. If you just had a season and it was all harvested in July and August, um, you know, folks are still laying lawn, lawns, are still establishing sports fields uh, in November, December, January, February as well. And in terms of price, according to Howard, that can be attributed to the exponential increase in inputs to grow, maintain, and ship their sod. We think somewhere around 30% of our cost in the product is, is in the freight and getting it to market. Uh, some of the other challenges are fertilizer. Uh, we've seen our fertilizer uh, input prices double over the last 12 to 18 months, and that's pretty consistent with our pesticides and other, other inputs we have as well. Unfortunately, Howard believes this trend will continue due to projected demand, only furthering the issues going forward. Reporting in Fort Valley for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.